Hey guys, Pedro here today to do an EP review and today I'm going to talk about a band from Australia called Tapestry. The name of their EP is Ghost of Me, comes out March 30th and then right after that they're going to go on tour in Australia with Polaris. That tour is almost sold out at every single stop that they're going to. Um, and that was one of the reasons got me interested in the band. Uh, another one is always, I'm always looking to discover new bands, discover new music. So when you put those two uh, factors together, to me this was a no-brainer for me to look into this band, look into this EP and then obviously give you guys my views, my, my two cents if you will, of what these guys have put together. This is a post-hardcore band and that's very clear through their music as you get into the EP, but there's a lot of melody and a lot of melodic aspects to it, so they're not your, just your typical post-hardcore band, there's a lot of melodic influences into their music. The EP has seven tracks. One of them is an intro track, which is the first one. It's an intro track that could easily been mixed in with the second track and just have six tracks instead of seven. They decided to go with the intro. I'm okay with that. Uh, overall, there's 21 minutes to the EP, 21, 21 and a half. So it's your typical EP. Uh, not a lot of songs, very short, you know, no, nothing new there. I, I really like that. I like the fact that they didn't really overextend it. Uh, I think that kind of defeats the whole point of putting out an EP. So, as I got into it, uh, to me, there's two factors across the whole EP that uh, stay consistent and are extremely important. One is the vocals. They really alternate well between clean vocals and screaming vocals. They really choose their times well for those two. And they almost go based on the storytelling of the song and based on the, the melody that the song is offering you at that specific time. So I really like the way they chose those two and where they implemented them. I think it's key. It's key not to do just at random times. It's really key to listen to the song, you know, listen what the song is giving you, max that out with the lyrics, see where the lyrics and the storytelling is going, and then use those two styles to really, you know, give a visual to the story that you're telling through your music. And I think they do it really well in the CP. The second aspect is the guitar playing. The guitar playing is absolutely phenomenal throughout. Uh, incredible melodies and in incredible guitar harmonies, like really well done. The guitar work is really well done throughout. There's not one single song that there you don't you're not gonna hear some really cool guitar riffs or a very nice well done solo. So it's the guitar is just pretty much phenomenal all the way throughout. Now, as far as songs are concerned, I think there's two songs that really give you the yin and the yang of this album. They give you two polar opposites, but at the same time, give you an idea of what you can expect from this whole EP. One of them is Ghost, is the second song. Uh, it's a song that has pretty much harsh vocals all the way through, but it, but in the pre-chorus it comes in with clean vocals, followed by har by screaming vocals, and, and the chorus, followed right away by an incredible guitar melody. This song has one of the most beautiful guitar melodies of the whole EP. It's, it's, it's really, it really captivates you as a listener when you start hearing the guitar, how beautiful the melody is, and then you hear the screaming vocals behind it, and you almost think that the two are polar opposites, but they're not. They really complement each other well. They're almost like the yin and the yang to each other, and they really go well together. The fact that they added the clean vocals in the pre-chorus gives the song uh, an extra kick, because when the chorus kicks in with the screaming vocals, it just takes it to overdrive, it just takes it to the next level. I really like the fact that they did it that way. It gave a lot more meat on the bone of the song, if you will. It gave it more life. It, it brought the song to life with the fact that they decided to go with the clean uh, vocals and the pre-chorus and screaming vocals throughout. The other song is Retrospect. It's almost a, a love song, if you will. Uh, not a ballad, but a love song. I, this song is absolutely incredible. I, the, the thing that captivated me about this song is the storytelling aspect. The lyrics are really well done. It's almost him talking about a failed relationship with somebody. And I really like what they did with the vocals in this song more than anything. They really went, the, the part of the song that's really retrospective, that it's that is the, the singer really talking about the things that could have been, the things that, that we could have done, it's done in clean vocals. And then the chorus, which is more about his, his own admissions of his own failures and him realizing that there are certain things that he would love to do with that person that he can no longer do, the screaming vocals kicks in. And I really like that dynamic because it gave, it gave life to this song. It made you feel that you could totally relate to the singer and you could totally relate to the storytelling aspect because obviously if you're being retrospective and if you're being introspective you're going to use those clean vocals because it's more it's almost like his thoughts it's almost like we're listening to his thoughts during the clean vocals part and then in the chorus when he comes in with the screaming vocals it's almost like 
we're no longer listening to his thoughts. Now we're actually listening to how he feels and he's bringing that to the exterior and that it comes with, with anger, not necessarily anger towards the other person, but anger towards himself for failing to do certain things. And that comes out in the screaming vocals. So the dynamic between the two is absolutely well done and absolutely incredible. I really like that. It gave life to the song, it gave meaning to the lyrics, and it really made me feel like I said, one part is him thinking about it and the other part is him exteriorizing those thoughts. Really well done, really well thought out. And these two songs really give you an idea of how good their work is and how good this band is and, and, and how creative they are with their art. So this is it for me, but let me know in the comment section below if there's other bands from Australia that you think I should check out. Uh, have you heard of this band? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I would like to hear your thoughts on them. I really enjoyed it and I would like to know if you did as well. Take care.